Insta360 X3 Quick Start Guide. Unboxing. Open the Insta360 X3 box. Camera assembly. Take out the battery. Insert a micro SD card. Insert the battery with the up arrow pointing towards the camera lens. Make sure that the orange indication marks are covered by the latch to ensure waterproofing is not affected. USB lock cover. Use the charge cable to charge the camera via the USB-C port. The indicator light on the battery will turn red when charging. The indicator light will automatically turn off when it is fully charged. Please use the official Insta360 accessories to ensure the USB lock cover remains accessible for charging. Ensure the lock cover is secure. Make sure that the orange indication marks are covered by the latch to ensure waterproofing is not affected. Firmware update and activation. Before shooting, X3 needs to be activated via the Insta360 app. Press the power button to turn the camera on. Select language. Download the Insta360 app. Turn on your smartphone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions. Open the app. Tap the camera icon at the bottom of the app page. Follow the on-screen instructions to activate X3. If there is a new firmware update, a notification will pop up on the app. Please complete the camera firmware update before using the camera. During the firmware update, the camera display will turn off. The indicator light will be solid blue. Restart the camera and connect to the app again. Camera use. The X3 has four microphones located on both the front and back of the camera. There are three audio recording modes you can use while recording. Stereo, wind reduction, and 360 direction focus. The speaker is located on the side of the body. The X3 has four physical buttons. Power button. Quick button. Shutter button. Lens button. Press the power button to turn on the X3. Press the shutter button to start or stop recording or taking photos. Long press and slide across the screen for 360 preview. Shooting modes can be switched via tapping the icon at the bottom of the screen, swiping the screen left or right. Tap to switch to single lens mode. After selecting the mode, 
press the shutter button to use the current option and return to the preview page. Tap the parameters at the bottom of the screen to adjust parameters. Swipe left from the edge of the screen to adjust image parameters. Adjust settings such as white balance and ISO. Swipe right from the edge of the screen to access the gallery and review recorded footage. Swipe down from the top edge of the screen to open the shortcut menu. Tap settings to adjust X3 settings such as USB mode, anti-flicker, screen auto-sleep, gyro calibration, etc. App use. Basic functions. After connecting the camera to the app, you can view the shooting preview. Adjust shooting parameters. Start recording. View your footage in the album. Footage can be edited in the album. Reframe your video by turning your phone or the swipe of a finger. All your edits are saved instantly. Export and share with just a tap. After editing, tap on the upper right corner to export footage. Shot Lab or Flash Cut. You can find a treasure trove of effects and templates on the Stories page on the Insta360 app. Shot Lab can be used with 360 content, while Flash Cut can be used for 360 and single lens mode content, as well as using footage uploaded from your phone album. Just tap and go. Use interesting special effects and create awesome content. Tutorials page. The Tutorials page provides a variety of tutorials and tricks for you to use. Using the invisible selfie stick. Make the selfie stick disappear from your videos. Start capturing amazing shots.